Happy Sunday, everybody. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. Hope you're staying safe out there in the world, making sure that you're staying away from people. Social distancing, my friends, is a key thing that you need to do. I don't have an existential question of the day. Give me a second. 12 seconds later. Existential question of the day for you is, when does it stop being partly cloudy and starts becoming partly sunny? I think we all really want to know that in these trying times of, you know, a cloudy life going on. When does it start being partly sunny? And when's, when's it partly cloudy? I don't, what's the dividing line? I'm sure there's a scientific explanation, but that's not the point of existential questions. The point of existential questions is to ask questions that don't matter and give opinions ba rather than facts, which is what you should always be doing. So let me know, what's the difference partly cloudy, partly sunny? How do we differentiate? And how do you differentiate as to whether or not you should buy computer parts right now? Because in the wake of everything that's going on with Voldemort and all of the supply chain issues and with all of the social distancing and people being locked in their houses and whatnot, there are record lows happening for GPU, motherboard, and laptop shipments. The numbers that we haven't seen in many, many years are being uh, reported out of several different uh, manufacturers and from different areas of the globe. In fact, they're saying that China should be down 50% year on year on their entire supply chain and not pick back up again until July when it comes to GPU motherboards and the like that typically happen with the majority of computer components. And then on top of that, we reported previously in hot news that laptop shipments in January were down a considerable percentage. And now it looks like they're down another 40% in February. They're continuing to fall rapidly. People either not buying laptops or laptop manufacturers not able to produce enough to get them out or they've produced them and they can't be shipped to the countries. It does seem like Voldemort and everything that's going wrong in the world right now is causing quite a bit of panic and havoc when it comes to the GPU computer industry. And they're saying that the entire integrated circuit revenue of the entire integrated circuit market, which is just basically a whole lot of computer related stuff, is down 4.4% year on year, which doesn't sound too big. But again, we haven't seen the full impact of every nation going on lockdown in the entire world. It's going to potentially snowball from here. So the question of like whether you should buy your PC parts right now is a very difficult one to answer because obviously supply is going down significantly, demand is going down significantly, but which one is falling faster? Is supply falling faster than demand? Because then that would mean that there's a shortage and that people would be paying extra for the parts that are available, which is what we're seeing in things like face masks and hand sanitizer and toilet paper, markups galore in a bunch of different areas. And considering the fact that GPUs and motherboards are non-essential supplies, price gouging is allowed. So do you buy now in hopes that the supply is exceeding the demand or do you continue to wait to let demand fall and hopefully get it to the point where you're uh, going to be able to again buy it and so that there's an excess of supply they have to drop the price in order for people to start buying again or as many people ask in all of the live streams that we do for hot news live which in case you're not familiar with we do a daily live stream of hot news live over on our twitch channel you can check it out at the link in the video description but a lot of you want to know should you wait for the next generation and that's such a tricky thing to say in in the current climate, especially with our Friday's episode of Hot News, we reported on the fact that TSMC saw its first employee go down with Voldemort and 30 others having to stay home because of their encounter with the Death Eaters. So it's very difficult to say whether or not TSMC is even going to be available to produce the chips that go into the future generation stuff. We don't know if the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X are going to meet their holiday shipment because if TSMC, the fabrication facility that produces the chips, behind all of this, AMD, NVIDIA, Apple, all of them, if TSMC goes down, then there's no supply for anything. So we have to keep a close eye on everything and we don't even know if future generations are going to happen this year. So I don't have a ready answer for you. I actually, I guess I'm posing this out to everybody who watches hot news right now. Are you buying right now? Are you saving money so that you can deal and whether with the coming economic stuff that's happening, have you lost your job? Are you currently laid off? Are you dealing with a non-paid time off scenario? I would love to know that and whether or not uh, you're actually buying computer parts, how you're dealing with it. I guess I just want to make sure you're okay. And I want to know the general state of our audience. How are you doing financially? Are you buying computer parts? Is it something that's interesting to you? Are you waiting for the future generation or are you waiting for your financial stability to actually be there? Let us know all of that down below in the comments. Speaking of financial stability, Google somehow 
good transition. There's some app updates coming out to Stadia because they are prepping the beginnings of the wireless Stadia controller so that you can actually use the controller on Android without having to tether it USB-C to C. A feature, mind you, that they said would be there on launch, but that's neither here nor there. They're not lying about anything and then they making us actually pay to play their beta. I'm not salty about it at all. And then there's also some indication that they have pro-only games coming. That's was discovered in their APK, which is indicating that they're gonna start selling pro-only games that you can buy when you're playing Stadia, but then you can't play on the base version, which is, again, against the promises that they promised when they said they were gonna launch. There's some rumor and speculation going out there that these would be for free-to-play games, such as Destiny 2, Fortnite, or any other free-to-play game that costs them server money, but doesn't cost you anything so they can make it pro only, but there's not a ton of indication for that yet. So if it's paid games that you can only access when you have pro, Google's continuing to lie. If it's free-to-play games that you can only access when you have pro so that you're actually paying for the network infrastructure you're using, that's more acceptable, but GeForce Now allows you to play free-to-play games anyways. So. I don't understand why you would get Stadia for that. And speaking of Stadia, Google is saying that they're dropping the price on their Premier Edition to $9.99, which is their first ever sale. It's $30 off. Should you buy it? Probably not. You're basically paying for the controller. The service is in beta. Why would you buy something for $100 when you don't even get the full value out of it after what's promised there? I don't know. But you know who's getting a lot of value out of GeForce now? Apparently everybody, because according to the European store for GeForce Now, they are sold out of their Founders Edition. And they're anticipating that North America won't be far behind. So it seems like the 90 day free trial that everybody got for GeForce Now was quite successful. We don't know if that's actually going to remain once the $5 per month promotional pricing kicks in. I would anticipate that a lot of people would stay on for such a low price. I mean, you get great hardware for $5 a month. I do anticipate that a lot of people would keep it. Have you signed up for GeForce Now? Is this something that you're doing? Did you sign up for the free Founders membership with the, or the 90-day free trial Founders membership? And are you anticipating staying on once that converts into a paid membership? Let us know down below in the comments. But speaking of streaming stuff, Netflix is apparently seeing such huge demand that they're working with European lawmakers to try to get people to switch to standard definition because it's clogging up the entire network infrastructure of Europe. So it's a trending hashtag right now that says switch to standard where they're really trying to get people to lessen the burden of bandwidth on the entire network in Europe because it's just too much. I guess Netflix wasn't imagining that all of their customers would be online at the same time streaming all on HD, some in 4K. So they're trying to make sure that people have internet for everybody, which sounds like a problem that they should have thought about a while ago and built up the pipes for so that we could handle this streaming thing. I don't know. I just think that the internet should be further along than it is right now. But that's just me. I'm just a guy in a bedroom talking about stuff, including this next article about the dude who used to work for Google, but then apparently stole some stuff and then went to go start his own company called Auto. And now it appears that he has pled guilty to one count of trade secret theft under a plea deal with all of the other charges being dropped with him pleading guilty to that one. He could have faced up to 10 years on each of the 33 counts that he was being charged on. And it's also been ruled that he has to pay $179 million for contract violation. And they're gonna recommend a sentence fewer than 30 months, the prosecutor. So we'll see how that actually pans out. Speaking of panning, I'm gonna pan like a camera pan onto this next article, which is about Razer using their fabrication facilities to produce surgical masks for the shortage that's happening worldwide right now. The CEO of Razer committing to contribute 1 million masks for free by donating them and using Razer's fabrication facilities to produce these, which is kind of cool. Good guy, Razer. Good job. Go Razer. Go, go, power Razer. Speaking of power users, Windows Terminal. Microsoft has updated, at least in the preview for my Windows Terminal, you can now have mouse support. So in case you've always wanted mouse support in Terminal, it exists in Windows on their 0 0.1 test. So you can check it out if you want. And you can check out the end of this episode of Hot News. Don't forget to answer the existential question of the day, which is when does it stop being partly sunny? And when does it start being partly cloudy or vice versa? When does it stop being partly cloudy and when does it become partly sunny? I need to know when the rainy days are gonna be over. Let us know down below in the comments. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode. I'm gonna bounce on out of here. It's Friday, you're watching on Sunday, goodbye.
let us know down below in the comments. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode. I'm going to enjoy myself now. Don't put that in there. <laughs>